Welcome back to another see-through engine episode where I jam the oxygen acetylene in that carburetor and hope for the worst. It's pretty cool because you can see right inside of the combustion chamber. These mini engines are pretty cool already, but this one is especially cool because it's a mini see-through engine. This engine is set up almost exactly the way that I built my original see-through engine about three years ago. And it just made perfect sense for me to get my hands on one of these engines, show it like the original see-through engine I made. So it should be pretty cool. And the first thing I'm gonna do that everybody asked for in the comments section when I showed this in a community post is take the whole thing apart to show you what's inside and how it's put together first. Then I'm gonna start it up, run it, film it with the high-speed camera. But before I do that, I wanna introduce you to the sponsor of this episode. Have you ever found yourself in a situation or a moment where you just wanna to go to a different world altogether, escape reality, and forget about the world around you? Raid Shadow Legends is the game for you. That's one of the only games I play because for me, it has to be worth my while and it has to be exciting. And Raid is my favorite RPG game because it has the craziest looking clan bosses, the coolest characters like Gallic, and amazing looking female warriors. Gallic is my favorite character because he looks just like my uncle. And my favorite skill of his is Hellraiser, where he burns up two people at one time. I'm not sure why, maybe because I like fire as a kid. And the storyline draws me into the game 100% every time. One thing I like about Raid is they're always developing new champions and they're currently making a brand new Doom Tower, which I'm very excited about. Make sure you're quick to use my link in the description as every new player will get an awesome welcome pack that contains 50,000 silver, 50 gems, five mystery shards, one energy refill, one day XP boost, one clan boss key, and an absolutely free awesome champion, Hexweaver. And my all-time two favorite characters of the game right here, Gallic and the Dragon. Now that you know who the sponsor of this episode is, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let me get this all set up so we can see what this miniature see-through engine looks like in slow motion. And the first thing I'm gonna do that everybody asked for in the comments section when I showed this in a community post is take the whole thing apart to see how it's made. And this is the little spark plug, Look how tiny that thing is. Oh, looks like it all just comes right apart. And unfortunately, there is a secondary glass cover that goes in here, I took it out. It's just basically a glass disc. And this is the main see-through head right here and then this is inside the cylinder this is this is the deck spacer pretty much the exact same type of spacer that i made for the original see-through engine and it looks like they made it a little bit smaller to increase the compression that makes sense but i'm going to take that deck off right now so we can see what's underneath that deck as well let's take a look and see what the actual engine looks like well it looks kind of cool you can see the uh, ground electrode is just kind of pressed into the aluminum there. And you can see our spark plug right there too. Here's the camshaft, so this is what lifts the valve. It's right here, it's the little camshaft. All right, well, let me throw this all back together and uh, get this thing started up for the first time. That one goes in place just like that. I'm gonna just put this retainer in for the first run the way it would normally run if you bought it. And then for all the subsequent runs, I'm gonna remove this completely and just leave that, that flat head. I honestly like that a lot better. And that's it. Now that I showed you what's inside, I put it all back together. I got it set up, ready to go. It's time for the first run of this engine. The first fuel I'm gonna run is gonna be 20% nitro RC fuel. And then oxygen acetylene and see if we can get this thing to really scream.
That run on RC fuel went pretty well. It just didn't seem to hit the RPM I thought it would. Hopefully with the next fuel, that's gonna happen. But before running that other fuel, I wanna just set this engine up the way that I think it should be. And that is without this big uh, ring on top blocking our view from the combustion chamber and without an exhaust for sure, because this thing is just way too quiet. This engine has like two see-through heads that main one and then another one on top which i broke before i even started this thing for the first time so it really didn't matter yeah, it looks pretty good i got my new head bolts in and funny enough it's starting to resemble the full size see-through engine at this point I tighten that up hopefully i don't hear a crack i'm gonna give it one more run on nitro because now since this ring is gone i'm not really sure what this ring is for maybe additional protection or something or just looks now we can see directly inside the combustion chamber power boost box That run was a little bit more my style, nice and aggressive and kind of nasty sounding, but I still didn't get the RPM I wanted to see. I wanted to see that thing really screaming. Hopefully that's gonna change with our next fuel. I'm gonna pump pure acetylene into the intake first and then add a little bit of oxygen. That's what I'm gonna do next. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we see some carnage if we're lucky. And for this one, I'm gonna need and anybody who's seen that previous episode where I run oxygen acetylene through that little engine knows that this torch right here was the cause of that engine's demise. Let's see if this is going to be a similar situation. Oxygen is settling. Well, that was unexpected. I didn't think that our gas tank was gonna blow up. I mean, look at this thing. But it was really cool nonetheless. After looking at the high-speed footage, I can see there was about two or three combustion events. And on that last combustion event, the flame traveled through the carburetor into the fuel delivery tube, which was pressurized with the oxygen acetylene, lit that up, our tube didn't blow up, but apparently it followed down like a fuse right to our gas tank and just blew the thing to pieces. So it looks like we're gonna need a gas tank and a starter, but I will give the people at this company credit because when I asked them how much this see-through head can handle, they told me it can handle just about anything and apparently they were telling the truth. Pretty impressive. This is a nice little engine. If you're interested in this engine, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below with a discount code and uh, yeah, check it out. But apparently this engine is gonna live to see yet another episode. I'm gonna have to think of something really extreme to do with this engine because 
apparently it's up for the challenge. That being said, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. That's about it. See you next time. Adios.